Egyptian guy that I'm talking to now. Yeah, he's from Egypt, Alexandria, Egypt. He's a chef. Um, he loves BBW. Is it like, I don't know if it's like all Egyptian men, but he's very, um, like bossy. Like tells me what to do. He's like, you're exactly what I'm looking for. If you think I'm the kind of woman that you can boss around, I'm gonna piss you off a lot. I think she is that shady, you guys. She puts on this, like, she puts on her fucking eyeshadow and her lip gloss, tries to look in her freaking wig all crooked, and tries, sorry, I'm just, like, mad. Mad and ignorant. Let, let's talk about this microaggression. I have never worn a wig or extensions on my channel. This is the hair that grows out of my scalp. It is relaxed, though. I do have a relaxer. But this is the hair that grows out of my scalp. I've never said once on this channel I've ever worn a wig. I've been interested in a wig because I love the different things Callie does with her wig, so I'd like to experiment with it one day. Never once said I wear wigs. But I see that comment quite a bit, especially when a lot of my supporters have been mentioning they like the fact that I'm growing out my hair, so I appreciate you. And I've seen some people comment like, I bet that's not her hair. Why? Is it hard for you to believe that people who look like me can grow their hair out long? Hmm. Chantel, when did I ever say I wear wigs? Never did. Once. I've never worn a wig on my channel or even extensions. It's always been my own hair. Check your microaggression. Oh, it, does, it doesn't stop here. Hi guys and welcome to Taylor Talk. Guys, I wanted to talk about foodie beauty. Yet again, constantly being ignorant and stereotyping and generalizing people. Now, just recently, on a date with Salah, um, foodie beauty was hanging out with Salah at the beach in clothing and um, a full of buyer um, covering her body. And she said this. Hey guys, so I'm not swimming. I know a lot of you are probably going to wonder why. Uh, typically Muslim women do not swim. There's no other women swimming right now, as you've seen so far, uh, in public. They do it in private, even with a burkini. Um, as many reactors have pointed out, that is false. What she's just said about all Muslim women like choosing not to swim, that's complete crap so foodie if you feel just feel comfortable sitting on the sand and watching sultry salah um, wiggle those hips in the sea why don't you just say that why do you have to stereotype all muslim women you're not even muslim you're cosplaying as a muslim to get salah's and his family's approval if you don't want to swim just say that you don't want to swim don't constantly bring other people into it. Don't bring other women into it. Don't bring out in a community that you know nothing about. In the ME, Muslim women do swim in public, whether it's in um, bikinis, whether it's in um, T-shirts, whether it's in T-shirts and shorts, whether it's in um, whether it's in clothes. Um, form-fitting clothes they do swim in public travel enough and you will see it just because you choose to stay clothed on the sand it doesn't make you better than the muslim women around you that choose to swim you know just take responsibility for your own choices and stop blatantly lying about muslim women just because you feel insecure okay so that's the end of the vid. Let me know what you think about her comments in the comment section. Thanks for listening.